South Africa. A few weeks ago, Finance Minister Tito Mboweni warned that his upcoming medium term budget policy statement will not be popular. Some analysts are convinced that he was talking about tax. Tax on the super rich, to be exact. This as he has to try and plug a projected 300 billion rand shortfall in tax revenue due to the severe economic recession, which has been exacerbated by the recent economic shutdown to curb the spread of the coronavirus. The idea of a wealth tax or even a solidarity tax is not new. Uh, that has come up, you know, I think even last year, just given how difficult you know, the financial situation of the country has been. But, but I think as, as soon as we have more detail in terms of what it is, then I do expect a short-term reaction on the market, uh, just to digest you know, the latest news. But in totality, I don't think the idea is completely new, and therefore it's likely to catch the market by a complete surprise with long-lasting negative effects. But with governments continuing to lose billions of rent every year to rampant corruption and fruitless and wasteful expenditure, economists say a wealth tax will be a hard sell. Never mind corruption, never mind abuse, never mind overpricing of, uh, of anything that government uh, procures, even PPEs, uh, as we have seen. They are inflated prices because of the network of corruption and state capture. So if you're not dealing with those in a credible way and out of uh, within that context, you want to introduce new tax just because you want to close the gap. It's going to be a hard sale. There is also the danger that introducing a wealth tax could drive the super rich out of the country. If it's not credible, if it's not within a context of a fiscal reengineering of of meaningful type, all those generators of future wealth are going to leave. If they can't restructure, they will leave the destination. They will go to a place where they can uh, own their wealth or more of their wealth and get better value from their taxes. So in, in effect, what it does, it chases away the engines of wealth. So you are left with those who can't generate enough wealth. So is a wealth tax a case of damned if you do and damned if you don't for the finance minister? Only time will tell. Bongani Mochwa, ABC News, Johannesburg.